Jesus and Mary. Now and forever. Today we celebrate this memorial of St. Ambrose, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, and the responsorial psalm, uh, which is applied to David, King David, can be perfectly applied to St. Ambrose by just substituting his name in there. I have found David, Ambrose, my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. And so, at, in the year 374, we're talking early on in the church, uh, in the year 374 in Milan, northern Italy, Ambrose was the governor and not even a Christian yet. He was a catechumen. Uh, when the um, diocese, archdiocese, was looking for a new bishop, I guess the former one had died, and by popular acclaim, St. Ambrose was chosen. Uh, again, not having yet been baptized, and so he received the sacraments, baptism, confirmation, ordination, diaconate ordination, priestly ordination, and then episcopal consecration. And just like that, made the Bishop of Milan and a holy bishop at that. Uh, he was filled with courage and wisdom. That's what we uh, mention in today's opening prayer. These two attributes of St. Ambrose, uh, he needed courage to deal with the Arians at the time. This was a heresy which denied the divinity of Christ and it was quite fierce at the time and there was probably some risk of his life. Uh, but he also had wisdom and prudence on how exactly to go about dealing with that in order to save as many souls as possible. And so he is described as being a pastor full of sympathy and charity, gentle and condescending in things indifferent, but inflexible in matters of principle. You see the wisdom and the prudence and the goodness there, full of sympathy and charity, gentle and condescending in things indifferent, right, in which one can hold various opinions, but inflexible in matters of principle. And uh, this could be useful in our own times, right, when there's uh, polarization and um, heated arguments and anger and all of this, uh, that we be have the wisdom and prudence to give room where room can be given, right? Uh, and, and differences of opinion, even among Catholics and Christians regarding certain things, uh, but inflexible in matters of principle, namely in matters of dogma, faith, and natural moral law, morals, right? These, there are some things that the church considers to be non-negotiables, right? Just as an example, uh, abortion and marriage between one man and one woman. The church actually calls these things non-negotiables. So in those type of things, we need to be like St. Ambrose, courageous and inflexible, um, but always having charity, always looking for what is best for souls. And so we turn to St. Ambrose uh, in our difficult times, both in the church and in the world, asking for his intercession for all those who lead us, again, both in the church, for bishops, uh, but also those who govern us, as St. Ambrose himself was once a governor. St. Ambrose, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.